Howdy, my name is Fletcher, and you must be wondering... Wow, Fletcher, you're making more consistent videos now? Sure. Anyway, I get a lot of people asking me what I use to animate, and instead of typing it all down and saying the same thing over and over again, I've decided to turn it into a video! Now, currently I'm using Toon Boom. It's what I use to make my coming out video. But before that, I used Fire Alpaca and Windows Movie Maker. Then, Fire Alpaca and Premiere Pro. <laughs> then, Fire Alpaca and Flash Animation. So, I'm going to show you how to use Fire Alpaca and Windows Movie Maker because it's the more cheaper option. And it's how I started out. Now, as you can see, this is the Fire Alpaca application. And it's pretty easy to navigate. You got your colors here, your palettes here, your brush control here, your brush preview. It may look a little different because my setup is changed a little bit, but otherwise, it's pretty easy to use. Everything is there. It's not all clumped up and in a mess. It's pretty easy to navigate. So let's create a new file. And there we go. 1280 to 720 is the YouTube standard for videos. I think nowadays it's uh, 1920 by 1080, but at the time it was 1280 by 720. So we're going to use that. There you go. There's your canvas. For me, I put dark, I put gray as my background because it's easier for me to draw in gray, but it may be transparent. It may be white for you. You can change that by clicking on view, clicking on transparent background, or background color. See? Let's put it as white so it's a little easier to look at. So what we can do, since it is a digital art program, it's meant for digital art, there is a way to change it into a bit of an animation kind of program. It won't look like your professional kind of animation program with a timeline and like frames, but it will have an onion skin mode, which will make each and every layer act as like a frame. So let's say layer one, let's draw a ball, draw a ball here. There we go, that's one frame. Layer two is gonna be another frame and you can draw your ball there. And layer three is gonna be another frame. You can draw your ball there. And as you can see here, the red in the background here, you see, well, is your previous drawing. So it's a little bit more easier to draw. That's how onion skin works. And for here, the green is the drawing after that drawing. So you see there, this one is after this drawing. And yeah. And let's make a splat. He goes, splat. There we go. There we go. There's people yelling in the background. I'm so sorry. Autoplay. If you click on view autoplay, you can watch your video go. And you can see it's in 24 frames per second, which is the standard when it comes to animation. But you can change it to 4 frames a second. 3 frames per second. Technically means how many frames are going per second. So there we go. And as for coloring, I don't see many people who use Fire Alpaca shows this when it comes to the animation side. So I decided to show you guys because, you know, maybe you want to color your drawing, but you don't know how. So what you do is open up a file or folder, put your layer inside the folder. You can open up a layer in that folder, drag that layer down or drag your layer up. <laughs> And then there you go. You can color underneath that frame and it won't affect on your other drawings. There you go. It will technically clump those layers in that folder together as one frame. So it's easier to color. Let's say you want to add a background or you want to just color. There you go. It will be all in one frame. There you go. And you can do that for each and every layer. It's a little bit time consuming, but you know. Everything is pretty time-consuming when it comes to making art. <laughs> that includes animation. Because in comparison to, let's say, um... Making digital art? Let's see here. Digital art? If you make, let's say, a circle... I don't know what's going on with my pen. My pen doesn't want to cooperate with me right now. Pen, please- Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Pen can do whatever. Oh, okay, now it wants to work. So, circle, and then another layer. You can drag that layer down, and you can color. Pretty easy. But when it comes to animation, each of your frames are, well, five, like, 
each of your layers are frames. <laughs> wow, I messed that up. Each of your layers are frames, so it's a little bit harder to color. So, like, let's say you want to color this ball, you make a new layer. You can't really color that ball because it's a new frame, but you can put it in a folder and color it, like so. Let's do that. Let's do that and that. And there we go. See, and we got all our little stuff together. Autoplay. So, saving your frames. In most videos you see, people usually save their f layers or frames individually, by themselves, manually, one by one. You can see it in the Odd Ones Out video and using Paint Tool Sci. It's very, very time consuming and very, very annoying. But the cool thing about Fire Alpaca is that you can save all these layers or all these frames at once automatically, which is hella cool and you know, you don't, it isn't time consuming. <laughs> so to do that, you click on file, you click on expert layers onion skin mode, and you can choose a, fi choose a file to put it in. So let's go to desktop. Let's make a new file. Uh, new folder. And let's call it animation. And yeah. Yeah, that's what that's what's called. And then select folder. And what that's gonna do is gonna put all your frames individually as layers in a folder. <laughs> yeah. Here it's gonna say open Alpadoga, or I don't know how to pronounce that, but I can show you what this is. It's technically a way to make GIFs or GIFs, however you pronounce it. And what you can do is click on down here. It is its own site. Fire Alpaca made it. You can see it with the llama. Or alpaca. <laughs> Why did I call it a llama when it's alpaca? It's, it's right in the name. And this is what it's going to look like. The, the folder that you put your animation in. It's going to have all your layers all saved at once with different numbers underneath it. So you know what each and every one of the frames are. And then you can open. Put it in. And there you go, you got your little animation there. Let's put it 24 frames per second. Boing, 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 and you can make it into a GIF or a GIF. But we're gonna make it into a video. So I've opened up Windows Movie Maker, which is probably the most cheapest and easiest site to use. And a lot of people in like, I don't know, early YouTube probably use this to edit their videos. <laughs> and you probably used it for some school project or whatever, but we're trying to be as cheap as possible, so we're using Windows Movie Maker. <laughs> it's not pro, but, you know, it's it's pretty good. It's a good program to use if you want to start out. So, file, and, uh, is it file? Yeah, it's file. Uh, new project. I think I've already opened up a project. <laughs> Import from device, or... No. Sorry, I am so fucking confused. Add videos and photos. I am so fucking dumb, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, let's go to desktop, because that's where I saved my frames. Put the frames in. There we go. There's our animation. But the thing is, it's playing it very, very slowly. <laughs> so it's not technically an animation. So what we can do is select all these frames like so. Click on edit, then duration. You can adjust how fast each and every one of the frames you want it, them to go. But since it's an animation and we're making a ball bounce, we can click on the duration and let's put it 0 0.05. There we go. So now each and every frame is going 0 0.05. What? I don't know, fast? <laughs> there we go. And as you can see, it goes boink, 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 boink. Yeah, let's copy this. Let's make it consistent. I'm gonna copy, paste, copy, paste. Boink, boink, boink. I'm not gonna show you how to make, how to import like um, sound. I'm pretty sure you can you can figure that out on here. <laughs> it's it's pretty uh, pretty easy to locate, but that's how I animate or used to animate on for YouTube on for my videos. So 
I hope you enjoyed this video, that you got to learn something out of this somehow, and I hope that really answers your question on how I make my videos. This is the cheapest way of how I made videos back in the day, and it's still pretty, pretty good. So, yeah, have a good day. Bye.